Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, I just have a couple announcements I wanna make for you guys. First off, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there who is in the United States and was celebrating it this past Thursday. Um, I hope you guys had a nice, relaxing, and happy time with your family. Um, you know, regardless if you don't really like the in-laws that much, uh, I hope everybody had some nice food. We talked about on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, we posted uh, a photo of some persimmons that I grew this year. And I think just the persimmon is such a wonderful food to have at a Thanksgiving dinner. Um, that I just highly recommend it. Um, it's also, a, a, I think, overall, a really great holiday. Um, you know, compared to all the other holidays that the United States has uh, and that we celebrate, I think Thanksgiving's overall a pretty good one, uh, just for the simple fact that it makes us really appreciative of what we have. And I think you guys should be appreciative. I think you guys should be thankful. I certainly am thankful, um, particularly for having such a great just great people around me, my, my family, my close friends, and then you guys having such a large community of people that I can share anything I want with at any time. Um, it really is awesome. I am so appreciative of having this YouTube channel and appreciative of having such um, great support from a lot of people, you know, especially when it comes to things like, uh, you know, um, putting out my logo as an example to you guys I had so much response from that I really appreciate that from everybody who did um, so yeah I'm just extremely thankful to all of you guys for all the support and everything you guys do um, I hope you guys are uh, of course getting something back from me that's um, beneficial I think what I'm gonna do at some time in the future is try to make my videos a bit more personal um, I don't think a lot of you guys really know much about me. Um, There's some of you who have been with my channel since the beginning, um, and I still see your names every now and then. Um, it's nice that that's a, a thing, um, <clears throat> but I think only really those people know a lot about me, or if you've met me in person, um, you may have a good idea of who I am, but uh, even so, I think there's a lot of people who may have perceptions about me or about anybody and um, you just never really know you know so I'm trying to make a um, little bit of little, some of these videos a bit more personal um, add a little bit more personal flair to them we'll see how that works out instead of you know I like the fact that I'm just to the point and all that um, but uh, I think we should try to make them a bit more personal the next announcement I have here to make is that uh, we finally have some fig cuttings available for sale. We also have some plants, just very few plants that are available. Um, a lot of you guys asked me throughout the entire year, when do I have cuttings? And I always respond, December, December, December. And, um, you know, it's such a short window of time. It really just started last week. Um, it hasn't even been a week yet. And we go to about mid-January. Um, so tonight, actually, a lot of these auctions here are going to end on FigBid. For those of you guys who want to visit FigBid, this is where you want to buy the cuttings. This is where you have to buy them. This is where I'm listing them. I don't take any um, personal orders from just sending me an email or a message. Um, this is where they're listed. This is what's available. Uh, it's just a lot easier on me. Also, I really like the website figbid.com. You can find this link, by the way, down in the description of my, my videos. Um, my buddy Danny, who created this website, um, simply to try to eliminate a lot of scammers that were found on eBay. Uh, it used to be that on eBay, there was a lot of fig cutting sales for years, and then we've slowly transitioned over to figbid. Um, on eBay, you just had too many people that were scamming people, whether they were sellers or whether they were buyers. Um, there was scamming on all sides of it, and uh, you just weren't getting what you thought. Um, in fact, if you still get, you still buy some things from the wrong seller on eBay, um, you're essentially wasting your money. You're not getting the variety that you thought. Um, so it's really important to kind of use this website just in general, even if you don't you, you don't buy these things from me. I just would recommend this as a whole 
um, to use FigBit. My buddy Danny, who runs this and created this, used to work for the NYPD. Um, he's certainly really good at what he does. Um, he's retired now, and this is now what he does, and uh, he does it well. I mean, it really has been an incredible thing, not just for you guys, but for the seller as well. Um, I had thought about selling last year for the first time on eBay, and then I had decided, you know what, this FigBid thing seems pretty awesome. Started using it. It's actually really easy to use, and essentially, Danny has enabled me um, to really start selling cuttings to give me another alternative source of income. And I'm just extremely grateful for it. You know, it's really easy to create these listings, to deal with the website, um, to have it all run through here for tax purposes, for you know, tra keeping track of your finances. Um, for doing it all by the book and all that it's really really um, easy and what I've done this year you can see they're they're separated here by cuttings and they're also by trees I have two bare rooted trees here um, that are for buy it now prices we sold these bare rooted trees by the way um, pretty much all the last week and we had all this listed we talked about bare rooting them we talked about the processes of how to do that how to store them how to ship them um, and I've shipped a lot of them out to people and people are overwhelmed um, overwhelmingly surprised by how um, awesome of a thing it was I certainly um, think more people should start bare rooting more of their figs and shipping them across the country especially if it's a large tree I think it really is worth the uh, the money, the amount of time that I personally put into bare rooting those trees was, it was a lot of work. And um, I think it's a nice gift for people to be able to get such a high quality and mature tree. Um, for prices, I personally think we're not really um, that over the top. Um, for cuttings though, here's the difference is that we have some cuttings that are here that are in limited supply for bidding, for auction. Kind of like an eBay auction where you bid, uh, you and other people bid to see who wins at the end. Uh, once this timer runs out, this is going to end. A lot of these auctions here are going to end Sunday night. Actually, tonight when I release this video, they'll release, they'll end tonight at nine o'clock Eastern. Um, some of them around eight thirty p.m. Eastern. Some of them at nine thirty p.m. Eastern. So. Um, if you want these, my suggestion is to get in here at the last minute and um, try to win. You know, um, mostly these bids that you can see right now are not really doing a whole lot. It's not a guarantee. You don't have time. You got to come in here and put in your max bid beforehand. I'm going to have auctions going for about um, all the way till about mid January. However, we do have a number of trees here that are buy it now prices uh, number of varieties I'm sorry of cuttings that are buy it now prices um, these are this is a big sort of a big complaint a lot of people had was they didn't want to be bidding on these things and they wanted to have access to these varieties so I've made them uh, pretty accessible and I'm giving you guys sometimes even five cuttings for a listing um, so I think this is pretty good it's a really wide selection I had up to I think 50 varieties earlier this week I had over 50 varieties listed I've already sold out of some of these listings believe it or not which is kinda crazy but uh, we're gonna have some persimmons for sale as well um, probably some persimmon cuttings of rosianca maybe down the road I'm gonna also be listing some pomegranate cuttings I have a number of pomegranates um, that I would like to sell even maybe some other other fruits that are not figs so you can kind of stay along with that I'm probably gonna sell for sure some Mar de Bois strawberries as we go along throughout the winter time I know there's a lot of people who want those and it's like the best strawberry um, quickly I want to go over just these listings real quickly um, so you can see here that it says three Le Magdalene cuttings. That's what the listing is for. I had a lot of questions so far about this. When you win this auction, you get three cuttings. Whatever this says here, the amount of cuttings will be listed right here. Uh, none of my varieties require pollination. They're all common. I've confirmed them common. I've fruited them all. Um, I'm not selling anything this year that I haven't fruited. 
all the photos here are from my own personal photos. Um, I have rooting instructions here. We talked about in videos that we did last winter time, we put together a whole playlist on how to root these cuttings. And then we also put together a video recently about how to handle the cuttings. When you get the cuttings in the mail, what you should be doing with them. Um, also, uh, we talk about the variety itself, um, different tech, different things about them. If you have any questions, just contact me. But it's very simple here what you need to do if you wanna be bidding on these things is that you need to create an account. Okay, so you create an account. What you have on your account is actually your address. You put in your address, put in your email, your phone number, all that different things. When you sign up, you need to have the address, the shipping address that I am gonna to ship to. If you have the wrong address in that account, I'm gonna ship it to the wrong address. So you need to make sure you have the right address. You need to make sure that um, you also have a PayPal account because this is how you pay. Um, is that everybody, when you buy this, you'll get an invoice. And you'll see these invoices here um, as an example. And these invoices will show up and basically you'll be able to pay through this invoice. I can adjust shipping costs. Um, but then again, none of this should need any adjusting at all because it's already pretty much pre-programmed in there. It's so incredible uh, the way that I did it this year. Um, and that's sort of it. You pay through PayPal, and then I ship it on Mondays to you guys. And um, that's it. Yeah, you guys get you get in the mail from the United States Postal Service. The cuttings are going to be shipped first class, and the trees that we have are going to be shipped priority. Um, and we'll do this again, like I said, on Mondays. Um, that is mostly the questions, though. But if you do have any questions, you can send me a message here. There's people that have been contacting me for various different things that you guys need help with on different things. Like this person just asked, do you send cuttings to Slovenia or Europe? And the answer is yes. However, um, I'd like to recommend that I don't, I don't know your, I don't know your laws. Okay. So if you are wanting me to send this overseas internationally, um, I don't know what the legality of this is for you. Um, it's certainly legal for me. Um, however, you guys need to be aware of your, your import laws, what it is that you're allowed to accept from other countries and what it is that you're not. Um, most of the time, I would say it, you're going to be okay. This isn't something that um, you're going to get in trouble about, but you certainly can. And you would want to rec... I do highly recommend that you look up these laws, know the laws in your country. Um, and if for whatever reason these cuttings are held up by your country's customs and they're held there, um, I cannot be held responsible. You know, um, you need to know your laws and it's your risk that you're taking. So I can't um, be the one to know everybody's laws, know how this all works. Um, it's not a guarantee that you're gonna get them. Even if, uh, as an example, overseas, I send this package to you and it is legal, it's not always gonna show up there. Um, so there's a lot of uh, you know variables here. I will say shipping overseas, there isn't a, a shipping adjustment that has to occur. Um, it's more money to ship overseas. It's somewhere around like $10 to Canada, maybe even $15 to Canada, and then it can get even higher going to Europe, like 15 to 20 to $25 to Europe. Um, I wouldn't recommend sending cuttings from the United States, um, anywhere further than Europe. Uh, you know, if you guys live in the Middle East, if you live in Asia, you live in Southeast Asia, um, it's just a really far distance. It takes a long time for those cuttings to get to you. It's not something you want to do. Um, the cuttings will just probably not survive the shipment. And if they do, they're not going to be of the best quality, unfortunately. Um, so I'd recommend if you live in one of those places, find a contact in Europe that can uh, send you cuttings. Um, so that's sort of it, guys. Um, I hope everybody here enjoyed this one. Uh, again, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. See you for tomorrow's video, all right? Oh, and if you want to see 
when this is all you know alerted, um, it's pretty simple. First off, hit the bell button on our channel. This lets you know when I have cuttings for sale because I'm putting out a video like this. Also, check out our blog, figboss.com. This is exactly what gets happened. You get notified here if you put down your email in the in the notification um, subscriber list. So if you put your email in here, you'll get notified when I make a new blog post. Also, you can follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links to that stuff is down in the description. We'll talk to you guys soon. Um, have a nice rest of your weekend, guys. Take care.